Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Did you say CB boobed? I didn't. So inappropriate. Roll the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it's time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh boy, everyone's looking for big salad energy as ever this season. Let's go! One, two, three! You went that way. Oh, and we've landed on metal energy, the very rare. There's only one metal energy on the board and only one dark energy. So, Ooh. I don't know if we have to change the, the thing. You know what, maybe we should, should we? Should we maybe maybe you should just choose your favorite I'm because gonna, I am now in what? full support of the whole skateboarding thing. Or at least I was when I started that sentence and now it feels like, I feel like I always remember after the fact why I'm not a huge fan of the skateboard thing. And it's because when we mounted the board that holds the skateboards to the wall, it was so flimsy. Like the screws are only in like this far. And so that thing's liable to fall at any point in time. I went with Sylveon because uh, we don't have a, a pink color. So this is like Sylveon's only time to shine. Hey, yeah. it's kind of fun. Yeah. Kind of playful, kind of delightful. Okay, you want to tell them about today's randomly chosen common chase cards? I sure do, Ben. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are Magnemite, Shroomish, and Staraptor. Staraptor. Plus, don't forget that if you pull a nest ball in any pack, that's worth two extra points this season. Things to be on the lookout today are the team competition, which Team Salad is presently crushing. Yes, they're in a far out lead with 181 points in first place. Uh, I think over 100 points behind is Electric, and then tied for uh, last place at this point in time is going to be both fire and water. Yes, but the interesting thing is because grass is so far out, it is difficult for them to now increase their lead because only the top five scores score. Right, exactly. Right. So what, what's going to be interesting today, especially every time we get one of the green cards, is how does it do? So we're going to be on the hot lookout for those. Right, so you want it to, to score more grass points, you basically need to be in the top 11. Otherwise, uh... It doesn't really matter. You probably won't score points for the team. Huh, that's sad. Yeah. Anyway, let's just jump right on into it. Today's first contestant is going to be the Bourbonator. All right. What do we know about the Bourbonator? Bourbonator collected X-Men Marvel cards in the mid-90s and excited to share card collecting with his two kids. Man, that is exciting. That I enjoy exciting. sharing some card collecting with my own kids. I feel like right now you are in the process of raising three prodigies. Dude, I hope so. I think that is what is absolutely uh, like, coming you know, down the pipes. I come home and sometimes I've won like a local tournament and I feel pretty good about myself, but I, I cannot wait for the day where they're just like outclassing me hardcore. I think it's gonna happen. I think these students will become the masters. One can only hope. Fortress is gonna score because of the type advantage there. The Mabastus, the Star Avia. Nope, Star Raptor is what we're looking for. The Floet does not, <gasps> but the Benet even X right out of the gate. Ooh. Nice full art card. Now this one, less competitive, less sought after, as it were. There's also a full art version, so I'm thinking not gonna be super high on the EX kind of value. Yeah, not so much, but it's always fun to start the day with a full art card. We've got 72 cents. We'll round up to a single point for that uh, one. So, so it's gonna be a two point pack two after all that for the Bourbonator. For the Bourbonator. That's okay, you can give it to one of your kids. All right, Ben, next up we have Manuel Knight. Manuel. Manuel. Come right, off last season see. with five points. Uh, Manuel has swam in every ocean, so you always expect maybe a bit of a teardrop energy coming out of them. Despite being on uh, Team Fire, yeah. and then we got the salad energy there, so we're seeing all different types of omens. We got the Flittle. The Shroomish The Shroomish will score, getting yep. used to the new randomly chosen common chase cards. The Mankey, Charcadet, the Florges, the Greedent, the Vivalon, 
The Indeedy will score. Does it? Is that a rare? It is a rare. It is? Wow, okay. Uh, the Nimona will not score, and the Quaquavel uh, will also score. Yeah, Quaquavel! 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 So that's going to be a three point pack overall. I can already tell you at some point we are going to mistake a colorless for a metal I or know. vice versa. I know. So be on the lookout for us. Let us know in the towel section down below. We do get uh, people correcting us in past episodes in the past, and we do take your. Uh, we do go back and we do check, and if you are right, we will fix it. So, not to worry, it might happen. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Sorry about that if we messed it up. There's lots to keep track of. There is. We concocted too many rules, yeah, and yet they are also awesome. They are all awesome and need to be in the game. Yes, yes, it's part of what makes the game the game. All right, Ben, next up is Afropunk. Ooh. Let's see how they does. Are we going to get some? No, uh, your type job. advantage at all. Oh, oh I did oh, it backwards. Did but you know what? Last time I did this, it ended up working out pretty good. So that's going to score. The Karate. The Shuffet. Yeah. The Sprigatito. The Hound Door. The Drifloon. The Stonjourner. The Penny. The Quaxwell. And the Palpat. So actually, oh. I'm sorry. It's just a single point. Just a single point. Let's double check the, the value there just for the purposes of that last place I opportunity. Say it's pretty low. It is nine cents. Nine so cents. it is, in fact, quite low. Yeah, but we've had, I think there's a six cent card that we've had. Scored. Or seven possibly, but yes, Maybe. as a reminder, you do need at least two packs opened in order to qualify for that last place ETB. Yes, but everyone should be in uh, contention this time because this is still round one of the entire month. And after this episode, we will have finished month number one. So everyone should have a pack on the board after this month. There we go. Unless you're a rookie. Unless you're a rookie. Yeah, coming in next time. Next up is Mots. Mots. Okay, Mots. Let's see what we got for you there, Mots. Mots, who is a mod yes, over on our, mod. on our Discord server, which you, if you are a Box Breakers patron, you do have access to, in case you are unaware. It's a fun place where conversations always happening. Boom! Oh, Mots and with the metal type advantage! There we go, the Drifloon, the Satoddle, oh, the, the Varoom score. Yep, yeah. there we go. That's worth two right out of the gate. The Magikarp, the Picnic Basket, the Bombardier does not. This is Star Raptor we're looking for. The Hypno does not. The Magikarp does not. The Ralts does not. And the Cloth, the cloth well. does. So, so just, oh a, four man, just a four point pack despite pack. having that multiplier on there. Better luck next time, Mots. But either which way, cards are headed to your direction, to your place of residence, no. to your home. What was I trying to go there? I feel like my sentence started and I had no, no idea where to conclude it. Yeah, you didn't know where it was going to sandwiches. <laughs> That was pretty good. Thank that you. Was pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, but next up we have uh, Haley and Colin. Okay. And uh, they are a team, as ever. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of duos out there, you know, Amazing. playing the box it. breakers. Yep, yep, I love it, I love it. Sometimes that makes you a target in games like this, but uh, not much be... other people can do, so. <laughs> it's true, it's true. They are, they are basically helpless at yep. all times, as are you. Yeah. Congratulations. Right? Here we go, we got the mirror. Now, this is the card, uh, the, the Altar version of this is the rarest card in the set. Margo which, has pulled it. Margo has pulled, so it'd be amazing to see another one. The, the Shroomish, Shroomish will, will score. score. The Shuppet will not, but the Slowbro will. Favorite art in the set still is that Slowbro. I know, absolutely love that one. That would be really cool. You know, it would be really fun if for uh, like pieces like this, if they literally had the artist do like a canvas yeah. of it, and then you could like, well, not you, like maybe me or anything like that, but someone in the world could purchase it. That'd be so cool. That would be such a cool like collector's edition. That would be amazing. Yeah, if you could get like the original print or something. Yes, like the one that the card was based off That'd of. That'd be pretty good. Well, Haley and Colin, you can fight over who gets the best art in the set and who gets the shroomish. Next up is another Lauren. Another Lauren? Another Lauren. I don't know just what to do with you. <laughs> <gasps> Teardrop. Teardrop. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Boom! Lightning Bolt Energy, the Caspa Kid, the Potion, the Weasel. Yeah, the Weasel. Nice. Energy Retrieval, the Doxbun. Doxbun. The Torkoal, the Scovillain. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Like Scoville units. Yeah, Scoville units, sure. Yeah. Oh, because they're peppers. Yeah, because it's like Capsicid, like Capsaicin, Capsicid and Scoville. Uh, oh, yeah. when I learn the backstories, it makes it so much more clever. Right, oh, I do love it, I love okay. it. Okay, the Grimer. Oh, oh the Tarantula! There we go, and you can see the top of Scyther yeah, there. Yeah, there's the Scyther. We've yep, mentioned we, that a few times. We've seen the other half of it before. Okay, so that will absolutely score. The Professor's Research will score, and that is the end of the pack! Yeah, so let's see what that Tarantula is worth let's for you. We'll take a quick gander over here. I, I had remember. to play this pack weekend against the Tarantula Spidopsy X deck, and it was a little bit scary. I did overcome and get the dub, though. Way to go, way to go, way You're to go. Welcome. All right, that, that card is going to be worth $3.06. We'll round up to four. Plus the research is gonna be five. five. Well done, well Solid done. Solid for another Lorne. You wanna throw that in a sleeve? Into a sleeve, as I like to call it. Okay, I'm gonna do whatever you want, man. There we go. 
very comfort comfortable and cozy now. Bam. All right. Next up is Becky Borst. Becky Borst. Bam. All right. What do we got for you, Becky? Becky came in last season on her single crown zenith pack at 15 points. So, oh wow, wow. Okay, so this yeah, is someone so who who basically like. You know, it, there's there's strong strong opportunity for striking. Yes, is indeed. what I'm hearing. Okay. A lightning strike. Oh, oh and wow, we've just struck like, metal. Just like, oh yeah, there we go. Well oh, said. We go. Well said. In the room. room. Wow. Yeah. There's only like three or four metal cards in the whole set. We've, so, but we've a seen a bunch. Them. Yeah, it's pretty good. The Magnemite scores. The Quaxwell, the Cyclozard, the Mabostiff, Ben's favorite Pokemon no, from this not set. At all. Yep, the not Palmy, at all. and the Indeedy. So, man, after all that, we got another type advantage out there, but only going to be a six point pack after the multiplier. Man, really close, but the chase cards did boost you up a little bit, so that's always and, nice. Yeah, honestly, that was an impressive use of uh, of the game mechanics as well to get you up to six points on what would have otherwise been a pretty, you know, kind of basic pack. Right. All right, so we're going in from uh, Becky Boris to Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Ooh, last season, Becky Boris had 15 points, but Beck Squad had 16 on her. Nope, sorry, that was two seasons ago. Never mind. Uh, Beck Squad had five points last season. There we go. I'm feeling okay. some rivalry. I'm gonna write down. I'm Beck gonna write Squad it down. And, and Borst. Rival, Becky. It's Borst. it's important to assign rivals. You know. It, oh, oh, there we go. So right off the top, we got the Magnemite will score. Boom, yeah. Uh, the Tarantula, so that's like the regular version of the one we just pulled the mm -hmm. Altar off, right? Indeed. The yes. Dollop, the Quaxley, the Beach Court, the Sandaconda. Star Raptor scores. Star Raptor does score. Well said, well said. The Slowpoke. Does not. Does not. The Defiance Band does not. Uh, and the Reverum will. Reverum scores twice it because it is twice. metal and so, star. One, two, three, four points Boom. overall. Four well points done. Out of that pack. So we're seeing uh, not quite the Six today. of her rival Becky Boris, but Beck Squad puts up some oh, good his, numbers. His. I'm sorry, his. Wow, my bad, Beck Squad. That's okay. That's okay. There we're, we go. We're, we're sorting it. Bam. Uh, next up, we have Smubbles. Smubbles. Smubbles, who only got two points last season, but uh, does coach water polo. So, fun fact: uh, I, I, on Easter weekend, we had a uh, bubble machine at my house for the whole family attended. That we did. And uh, your children very quickly taught my daughter the word bubble, which oh, she had never said before. You're welcome. She has done nothing but ask for bubbles ever since. Dude, kids love bubbles in a way that I think most people have a hard time loving anything. I wish that we loved things as much as kids love bubbles. Yeah. Right. Oh, the oh, King Gambit. This man. actually, man, I think we've had packs like this in the past. What is the King Gambit worth? Is this going to be a single point pack? This feels like one of those where, like, maybe maybe it's good contender for that that last it place. Does. Eight cents. Eight yeah, cents. So pretty yeah, low. Pretty, pretty low. low. So Smubbles there, putting up the, the low numbers, which can be competitive. It just depends on what you're trying to win. And I'm sure everyone's trying to win whatever they can. Exactly. For the most exactly. part. Uh, next up is Stefan and Susie. Okay. Another another uh, duo here. This is our classic CrossFit Pokemon couple. We should we should go through and sort out all of the couples that compete together or just pairings of yeah. people and and have them be like in their own little side comp. Right. Yeah. That's like, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> they got the dark. Who's winning drunk. the couples competition? The couples competition. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got the Lechonk, yeah. the Slowpoke, the Watchroll, the Zangoose, the Oinkalone, the Breloom, the Kilowatt Troll, the Crocorock. Will not score. The Ponyard will not score. But the, the Cyclozar is not. Oh man, which it's the is the Cyclozar, which we've seen so many of. This is another so one many, point pack. Yeah, go ahead and put it on the board as a yeah. uh, counter for the day. So the Cyclozar is going to worth the seven cents. Oh, I think that is even a strong contender for even last place. better than the King Gambit. That's what you want. If you can pull three Cyclozars, I mean, that's that's why you signed up for this show, right? I love. I know. I know. I love how uh, we have we have gone from like finding a way to make last place that much more of a competitive battle. It's like, oh, it comes down to the dollars and cents quite literally. Right, it really does. All right, Ben, we have our first competitor for Rookie of the Day today. Who's gonna take home the Olive Garden gift card? Everyone's always so excited about it. It's Dylan Clark has been watching the channel since he was in first grade. That is amazing. Unless maybe like you're only in second grade now. <laughs> in which case it's- In it's, which case it's still amazing. It's still amazing. Thank you so much for being yeah, here, Dylan, Dylan Clark. Bam, all right, putting up the big salad energy. Love to see it. The Pokemon catcher, the Tarantula, the Dollar. The, man, this would have been a great pack for salad. Oh my gosh. Mouse hold. I, I actually really like this artwork too on the mouse hold. It is, it it is very, very adorable. adorable. Super yeah, cute. The Vitality Bed, the Florigata, the Florigata, the Bombardier, and the Mouse Garata. Man, if only you'd had, if only it was grass energy today. I know, it would have been, been one, two, three, four. 
five, five six times two would have yeah. would have been twelve. <laughs> Instead, been 12. is one. It's just one. And uh, let's uh -oh. see here. Do so we have here. another single point rookie we, of the day race happening? I know. I know. Let's see. And it's okay. So the uh, Miascarada is actually worth fifteen cents. Oh my! Uh, so all things being equal, pretty pretty decent bad card. <laughs> yeah, pretty decent bad card. But if you're going to have a bunch of one pointers fighting for rookie of the day, that's a good thing. Right. Yes. Right. Which we did have. I think a couple episodes ago. At this point in time, we had like yeah. six people all get one point. It I was like, what is happening? I know. It seems like I, I, it, it's so weird that they come in batches like this. We'll see if the pattern continues because our next competitor, Milo Kincaid, uh, is also a rookie uh, contender today. Okay, I think it's me. They have a wife, two dogs, favorite Pokemon are Poochiana and Psyduck. Psyduck? I think Psyduck might also be Big Steve's favorite Pokemon. Psyduck is Big Steve's favorite Pokemon as well. Is yes. Psyduck uh, like quietly beloved? Because I feel like Psyduck had a really big presence. I in don't the... even think quietly. Oh no, okay. Just, yeah, Just people, people like people Psyduck. Like Psyduck. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, so we got the, the raucous pummeling energy off mm, the top there. Excellent. Got the Silicobra, the Bisharp, the Riolu, the Go-Goat, the Drift Blim, the Mezagoza, Mezagoza, Defiance Band, the Houndour, Houndour? Hound, I think, yeah, people say it both ways. I okay. never know. Okay, Houndour it is. Houndour. Houndour does not score. The Clauncher does not score, but the, the Mariadon Mariadon will score. As ever, Ben, the single point rookie battle is on. I know. Let's is it worth one. more than 15 cents, though? Let's I see. I don't think it is. Number 80 on the set will bring us through nine cents. Oh, I'm afraid wow. you're gonna miss out by six cents there. There we go. So Dylan gets the hang on by the skin on his teeth. And Milo Kincaid, you have a Maridon coming your way. Bam. Well done. Better luck next time. Sorry, I think you know there's no reason you can't enjoy breadsticks on your own time though. There's that's true. It's, it's true. true. Can and should maybe. Next up is Caitlin. Loves reading and games and working on writing her own book. Oh man. That's always fun. Writing a book is definitely one of those things. It's like I think about it. I think about it. Yeah. 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 But I haven't done it. <laughs> one one day. One day. I, know. I feel, like, I feel like a story's up there. You know? It's you know? in there. Bam. Fireball energy. And oh, I keep doing the thing, the thing but it doesn't matter because there could be two. I'm so sorry. This is like my weakness. Quacks, so this scores. Obviously. That's a score. Yep. There's the quack, there's the polyard. Maybe maybe I'll make up for it. There you go. Crushing there you hammer, go. That's all the we can starly, the toxtricity, the crocolore, the muck, the palmy, and the rotom. So I don't make up for it. Um, instead it's just the houndstone, which honestly looks like it could be like six cent range, if I'm let's being see, honest. Let's see, let's see, number one. That's powerfully low numbers. Seven cents oh, range. Oh man, another. Wow. Shorten another it. Another one. You shorted it a, a rather considerable oh, percentage of value about from, that. from six to, to seven there. That's my bad, that's my bad, that's Caitlin. All right. That's all right. Anyway. Welcome to uh, the at least the last place spot, unless there's a sixth sensor I'm not aware of. Next up, Ben, it's Laser. Laser is Laser also a rookie? No, it says specifically not a rookie. Oh, got it. Um, this is just a, a new card. Just a new laser. card for Laser. Okay, yeah. I thought Laser sounded familiar, but yeah, you, I mean, so. you never know how many Lasers could be out there. I mean, I mean they're out there. Yeah, they're, they're out there. In the movie Dodgeball, are there two people named Laser on? I think ben it's Stiller's? like Laser, Blazer, Laser. Did they say laser again? I don't know. I don't know. That, that okay. was me just that was me just trying to be silly. Sorry about that. All right, so the Pawniard will not score. The Crushing Hammer, the Starly, the Flittle, the Katie, the Wong Trio, the Judge. Huh, about that. Uh, Palma about will not card. score. The Prime Ape will not score. And the Palmont Palma does score. But man, we are, Ben, I feel like we've had a long streak of like non-big cards, which to me just signals that the end of this, the, the back half of this box is going to be wild. It's going to get bonkers. Yeah, indeed. there's no doubt. So the Palmont is going to be worth 15 cents. So kind of a good bad card, all things considered. So unlike for the Rookie of the Day challenge, if you're looking for that last place spot, you probably just want to go as, as full last place as you possibly can. But yeah. everybody has to open three packs, which is plenty of opportunity for them to excel and for you to not excel, in which case would allow you to win! Exactly! In a weird way. All right, That's let's, the best part about this game. Let's see if Wes Levy can uh, excel here. We've got to be getting into like the, the meat, the meteor packs here at some point. The you meteor know? packs. Right? Like packs that fall from the sky. Yeah. Like a meteor. Oh, yes. Aha. The, the meteor packs. The meteor packs. <laughs> exactly. Don't, Don't do the thing. Okay, I was going to say. All right, Scatterbug, Shuffets, Brigatito, Houndor, Tatsuguri, Nest Ball, Ball scores. scores. Two there points. There Pachi, we go. Pachirisu, Toad School, Fui Coco, and there oh, we go. Nice. All right, a Toxic Croak. So, again, unfortunately, probably not a super valuable EX card, but the, ne the Nest Ball might get you more points. Yeah, it might indeed. Um, okay, let's take a peek here. 
Uh, yeah, the Toxic Croak is even worth 76 cents. We'll round up to one hey. point. But that's three points overall, so it's better than a lot of people are doing today. It has also, to be said. a highly competitive Nest Ball headed your way. Man, so. that's actually true. Nest yeah. Ball, basically in every deck right now. Uh, next up is another Rookie of the Day, a.k.a. Faith. Now, Faith doesn't have to do much to get uh, the breadsticks at this point. They just need 15, 16 cents on the board. Okay, all right, Faith. I have... Faith in you. Oh, okay. There you go. I wasn't really sure where you're going with that. Me either. Me either. All right, they used to watch Pokemon on TV, but never played the game. Okay. All right. I suppose that could be video or card. Quite frankly, I am almost in the exact same boat. Wow. Um, you played the games. So. I have. I have played the the, the Game Boy game. I yeah. haven't played a lot of the card games since like sure. my original Machamp deck, mm. first edition. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> Krogunk, the Dedenne. Yep. Curlia, the Switch, the Heracross, the Crocodile, 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 rather, uh, Flamigo, the Hypno, the Varu will we'll actually score. Yep. Oh, oh, the full Arcanine on EX. So someone is uh, in a comfortable lead for the breadsticks at the moment, and that mm. person is Faith. Let's see. I knew. I told you that. Yeah, I, you I had, had faith had in it. them. I did. There's no doubt. I didn't need 409, so five points plus one for the room is going to be six. Six on Faith the board is now sitting in a strong position uh, to receive rookie of the day. Rookie of the day, congratulations! Man. But also, there's lots of cards left to be opened, and I, and I can't lie, I'm always hoping for the next pack to be the next best pack that we've ever had. Right? Yeah, my favorite pack is the next pack. Exactly. Right? That's what they say. Next up is Sydney Steele. Oh, what a great last name for today's um, type advantage, Ooh, right? True. Yeah, I don't know why they call it metal in the card game and steel in the video games. Yeah, it but really bothers me. It's a really lot. confusing. It yes. doesn't make sense in many ways. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, maybe they'll fix it one day. I doubt it. All right, ready? ready? The bam! bam. Oh, there's the dark here. Drop flip it over here. The poke gear, the floet, the palmy, the small live, the wug trio judge, float soul, the potion, the. Beach court and oh, another Toxicroak, which what? we already know to be worth seventy six cents. Single yeah, point. A single so point. We'll How? write down the seventy six cents for it. It's worth that we got two of the exact same cards so close together. That is weird. That Man. is weird. At the same that box and everything. No, it doesn't. So. Uh, as, as ever, we are still looking for a fun new game mechanic for if you pull two of the same cards in the same pack. So be sure to let us know what you think in the towel section down below. Right, all right, Ben, next up we have Jordan D. Jordan D. On the fire team. All right, let's see what we can do for Jordan. There we go. Something big, Jordan. Something big. The best card has yet to be pulled. I'm convinced of it. There we go. Lightning Bolt. We got yeah. the Shroomish right That's out of the right gate. There. That's right there. That's We got the Mankey, the Char Yep. The Caspa Kid, the Floatzel, the Team Star Grunt, the Lucario, the Bi Sharp. Will not score. The Starly Starly will not, not score. And oh, the Skeledurge. All right. So it's a two point two pack. Two point pack. There you go. Skeledurge, easily the best starter from this generation, though. No doubt about it. There we are. In case you're wondering, it comes with a uh, built-in microphone and a bird that I can send to fight people. So, oh, it's well, good. That's, this, are, this seem like handy features. All right, next up we have Andriana, uh, another rookie of the day contender. So now looking to beat six points. Andriana. Can they do it? They just played in their first pre-release tournament for Scarlet and Violet. That's awesome. I played in one as well. I played, uh, played. What, what happened? What happened? What? Oh, in this particular one, I had what I thought was a pretty good deck, which was, I had the Quack Quaquavel, and the Palmot was for sure the one you wanted to pull for mm -hmm. the uh, mm -hmm. for the pre-release format. It just accelerated so fast and was uh, hitting for weakness into Quaquavel, so. I see. Yeah, I did go three and one, but that wasn't enough to win. However, last that, like, weekend. Last weekend we had a box tournament, the first Scarlet and Violet uh, standard format tournament here in uh, Roanoke, and I did take home first place on that one, so that was really exciting. I got to break my own box at home, had some very good pulls, had the uh, alt art guard of war ex there we go that's what i was actually trying to set up from the beginning and then you yes. sort of like i you, you threw me off with uh, it being a different day wow, wow. this has been an eyeball Had energy it been day. eyeball but it's not but it's not so too bad live to fight another day the char cadet and there's another skeledurge wow but this one uh let's check what the value is on it oh by it's lonesome today the skeledurge is gonna be worth let's see skeledurge Nine cents. Nine cents. Wow. Okay. So the Pokemon community at least thinks that the Meowskarada is worth six cents more than the Skeledurge, which is surprising, if you ask me, because they're both starters and everyone thinks Skeledurge is so much better. Obviously, duh. Obviously, duh. Obviously, duh. Anyway, we got a veteran up. Next up, it's Tyler Gillies. Tyler Gillies. Here we go. Has an identical been... twin brother. Wow. I know, which I'm sure we knew because uh, Tyler has been with us since uh, season two at the since very season least. Two. Yeah, I think I don't know if we can tell if people have been from season one because we okay. have all new cards. Since we do then. have new cards. Bam. Okay, so the Fui Coco. Yep. Fui Coco. Fui Coco. Yeah, there we go. That's the what evolves into the Skeledurge we keep seeing. The Pokeball. 
football, the Rotom. Fortress scores. That will. Ba Boom. The Rocky Helmet, the Mastiff, and the favorite. Katsugiri. Oh, oh, we just talked about it. I like summoned that to the field. That's amazing. This is the Gardevoir, the Altar Gardevoir EX. That is going to be big money points right there. I think right. it's like... 40? Maybe 60? I don't know. Let's you want to know what's even more amazing? Uh -oh. It's not even <gasps> over yet. And Bam! the Bennett. Wow. Back from the grave. D triple cards on this one. What a good pack. Oh, that is man. amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's check number 245 on the set. Uh, it's going to be the Gardevoir EX. Uh, comes in at 4720, mm -hmm. so 48, 48 points. 49. And then 50. I'll, yeah, let me just double check that that, yeah. Let's double check the Banat just in case. Yeah, uh, yes, and so you are correct. Okay, so man, 50. so a 50 point pack, that is insane. That is good enough for second place. Big score for Team Fire as well. Yeah, That's gonna me. at least bring them up another 24 points. Yes, absolutely. If not more. I think even more than that. Man, that um, might push them into second place in the team competition. Yeah, so that'll actually bring them up by 43 points overall for, for Team Fire. So big, big big pull, uh, and overall 50 points is going to put you in second place on the leaderboard. That so, is immense. Well very done. impressive. Well done. Congratulations to Tyler Gillies, who has now been with us for quite some time. I mean, so eventually the cards were absolutely in your go. favor, Tyler. And we have talked about this Gardevoir a few times. This is the one where you can see the Ralts, where it's like with the little girl, and now it is an adult, and look, she has a whole family, and oh, just, well, they're knitting oh, together. It's so good. I'm just so happy for them. I know. Oh, man. All right, next up, Ben, another another longtime player in the game. It's John Borg. John Borg. Ba bam. All right, what do we got for you, John? Hopefully, something as good as the Gardevoir. But I know it's it's, it's hard it's hard to be a enter hard the sell. game in the shadow of such a big pull. I know it really is, but it doesn't mean you can't have two big pulls back to back. You know, things the crazier things have happened on this show. We pulled two back to back Skeledurges. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a really good that's point a that good you bring comparison. up. Good comparison. An exact likelihood of what's going to happen. Lucario, Lechonk, the Skidoo, and the Annihilate. Like I said, just as cool. Just just as just cool. Just as Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. Exactly what you want. This they, might even be worth ten cents. It's not. It's not. Nine cents. It's worth nine, nine cents. cents. Oh. Boy, did I overvalue you, Annihilate. Although this might be good in a GLC. Type deck, a good comeback card in uh, that uh, regard. But, uh, you know, I don't see a lot of fighting in GLC, I'm going to be honest. At least not here in Romanor, maybe in other places. There you go. I would like to build one, I think it'd be fun. Next up is Cal! Cal! Cal Ripken Jr., probably? That's probably, probably Cal Ripken Jr. Got tired of collecting baseball cards. Decided enough like, of his own rookie cards. Right, it's time. It's time. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's see here. So we're going to take the back of the teardrop. We got the potion, Bam. the weasel, the energy retrieval, the lechonk, the rock chest plate, the Satitan. Satitan. Nice. The Flaffy, the Growlithe will not score, but cool artwork. The electric generator will also not score. And the Annihilate. <laughs> you see what I mean? Anything can happen twice. Annihilate back to back, Skeledurge back to back. Right, yeah. Anything. Oh anything. All sorts of good opportunities on the board at the moment. Yeah, so yeah. um did we do, okay, yeah, let's see, so nine cents again, yeah, for the Annihilate. I could have remembered that since we just did it Because we did it, ago. yeah, like one segundo ago. One segundo ago. Unfortunately, Man. nothing terribly <laughs> exciting happening there. Yeah. It is very interesting to me, though, the, uh, the, the consi like, little consistency things yes. that happen. All right, next up we have, boy, I hope I say your name right, Zephaniah Carson. Nice. Who is up for Rookie of the Day. Still trying to beat that six-point full art Coridon EX pull from earlier. Let's see if we can get more than six points in today's pack and said, send Zephaniah to the Olive Garden. In case you're wondering, this is not a joke. We literally do send people to the Olive Garden. We do Garden. actually do that. Yeah. Yeah, so Bam, point, there's the in teardrop the, energy. In the beginning it was a joke and then it stopped being a joke and became real instead, which is the real. better place for it to be. It's the float, so the crushing hammer, and, and the, the professor's, professor's research. research. So sadly, just a single point there. Let's go ahead and look that up. Just for... So, for prosperity, you know, for easy math in the future. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so number 189 is going to be worth 25 cents wow. at one point. Wow, a little bit more powerful cents. than you think for I a know. single point card. So if if not for Faith pulling six points overall, that would have been the one point advantage that Zephaniah would have needed over Dylan Clark earlier today with that 15 cent pack. Man. Um, but unfortunately, Faith did come through and really just kind of like stomped on the parade with that six point pack. So. Faith always comes through, Ben. Faith always comes through. Next up, Ben is another player who always comes through, and it's Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Okay. Yes. I'm going from the back this time. All right. Let's see if we got anything special for Kimberly Lee. 
I can. I feel. I'm feeling it, man. You feeling it? Yeah, this feels pack. like the. I'm feeling like a pack here. Okay. okay. Okay, we have the dark, dark teardrop, teardrop, so okay. no type advantage. The crow gunk, the Dedenne, the curlio, the mm -hmm. switch, the rocky helmet, the mastiff, the oin cologne, the karaidon does, does score. The Riolu doesn't. And the Miascarada. So I was. It turns out I don't know what I was feeling, but it wasn't that pack. That's just going to be a solid two point pack there. Off the uh, Coridon, all right. Sorry about that, Kimberly Lee. Better luck next time. Solid two points for you. Next up, we have Annika. Annika. Like harmonica. Oh, yeah. Annika like harmonica. Annika like harmonica. Here we go. Also uh, been with us since season two. So man, yeah. thank you for the ongoing support. Man, so this uh, her initial fun fact was that she had wanted to collect Pokemon cards for. A while, and uh, so at this point, you must have a pretty good collection going. I know, yeah, at least like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven whole packs of cards have come your way. Amazing! Bam, eyeball energy. Um, you would have, a, I guess, enough cards technically for a deck, although probably not very cohesive cards. Got it, got it, got it, yeah, yep. Yeah, but you could you could bake a pile. There's no doubt. The Bruxus, the Team Star Grunt, the Zangoose, the Magneton does, does not sc score. The Buizel does not score, but the Arbeliva does. Although probably not for very much. Let's yeah, see what we got here. This has been like a uh, a box of serious highs and serious lows. It is, and this is a low for sure with eight cents value on that Arbeliva. Man, just eight cents. Goodness Can you me. believe it? I cannot Arbeliva it. Uh, what? <laughs> Nailed it. All right, Annika. Got the Arbeliva headed your way. Next up, Ben, oh, it's a big player. It's CK Hoof Talk. CK Hoof Talk. Yes. Uh, last season with 40 points in that Crown Zenith single pack. Yes. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely good. Although I want to say CK Hoof Talk was not our champion. I think they maybe sat they in first place for a very long time. And then was dethroned. Dethroned. Maybe in the last episode, was it? Possibly. Oh, possibly sorry about that, CK Hoof Talk. Let's see if you can do it again, though. Let's see. Let's see. We got the Pow Pad. We got mm -hmm. the Full Baby. The Toxel. Toxel, the Toxel. Ralts, the Miriam, the Spirit Tomb, the Ultra Ball, the Cat Turn, does not score. Uh, the Toad School <laughs> also does not score. And the Klefki! Adorable, but still only worth one point. But you get brownie points for being one of my favorite Pokemon. There we go, I know. So yeah. something something exciting certainly came of it. There you go. Even if it's just minimally exciting. Right, just just the old Klefki. Just All the old right. Klefki. But you know what? You can't have good days without bad days. Something feel, like that. Sounds like a terrible sentiment. Something like the bad days make us realize how good the good days are, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have Charcopple. 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 Who? It looks like I didn't write down their season four points, so I don't know what they did last season. Wow. Sorry about that. What an incredibly random thing to have happen. Maybe they won. May yeah, that's that'd be the worst. They pulled such a worry. good card that we forgot, that we forgot to write. God it damn, Rock is okay, pummeling. pummeling. Yeah, I feel like it's go. been a while now since we've gotten the. Um, the type advantage going, got the Ralts, the Oink Alone, the Berloon, the Kilowattro, the Flittle, the Staraptor does, does score, score as the, does the Armor Rouge. So, Armor Rouge! Armor Rouge! So episode one, make sure I write it down for you. Two points, Charcopple. There we go, there we go. Congratulations, cards headed your way. Oh, and bam. when you get them, you can pretend like you're Iron Man summoning Spider-Man and say, Under Rouge! Next up is Simon Perchert! Simon! Perchert. Simon Percher finished last season with just two points. So if any, I mean, honestly, getting more than two points in today's particular box seems like quite the feat. So we'll see what we got for you. All right, we got the basic energy right yep. off the top there. Nothing, nothing super exciting. The Slowpoke, the Watch Roll, the Zangoose, the Crow Gunk, the Blissey, the Youngster, the Jock, the Jock, the Clawitzer does not score. The Mareep doesn't score, and the Arbeliva. Oh man, I believe. Let's see, number. Uh, this was a um, eight, eight cents. cents. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yes. So the eight cents olive. I know. So we were really. Today's a day about highs and lows. It really it? is. Um, you'd think. I mean, unfortunately, it's, I love that we have an olive themed Pokemon. All right. Next up is Andrew P. Another contender for Rookie of the Day. Can we beat that six point mark? Let's find out. Whew, six points, big num big money today. I really, know, it does I feel mean, like, it does. We've had that Gardevoir, but everything else has been pretty low dollar. Pretty, pretty uh, plim sickens, as it were. There we go, plim slickens. There we go, Cacnea, the Sandile, the Marit, the Silicobra, Youngster, another Flaffy. Was that two Flaffies? No, maybe not. Maybe nope. Okay. All right, let's see. Varun the goes. Oh, oh, the gold lightning energy. Now, Ben, what would this have meant? 
Yeah, can you imagine if we'd had double? Oh, and the Arcanine. I know. I was like, do you do you realize what else is happening on there? Okay. Now, if we had a rule where you got two of the same card and you pulled, what if this was the type advantage? Obviously, we already know that would happen. That'd uh, be we, like four times. It is the four times. Yeah. Yeah. That would that if so if we had the type advantage and we had this going. But the weird thing is, Ben, if this was the type advantage and we had the clause where if you got the same card twice, oh, then you'd be up in like like. Eight times multiplier or something, like maybe. Something wild yeah, something going very on. Okay. wild. That okay. would be something crazy. Anyway, what is the lightning energy worth okay. and the Arcanine? All right, let's see here. What do you think will be worth more out of the two? The lightning energy? I think the lightning energy for sure is going to be worth more. Let's see. So the lightning energy is going to be worth $12.35. Wow. So 13. 13 points right there. The Arcanine is worth what? No, number 32 on the set um, is going to be worth $1.49. So two. So mm -hmm. 14. 15, 16, 17? That is correct. Excellent. 17 points on the day. That is going to be good enough for uh, eighth place overall, at least coming into the day. Probably a little bit lower than that now because of the um, the Gardevoir. So, but, yeah. Oh, there we go. We can actually sleep both the Arcanine as yeah, well. Okay. You're on top of it. There we go. Beautiful. Bam, Arcanine. That's so cool. I love getting the gold energies there. That's always really exciting. I know. And out of the energies, let me just, I was just double checking that as I was looking. I think it's just um, Lightning and Rockus Pummeling. Yes, you are correct. And Lightning is the rare one of the two at uh, $12.35, and the Rockets Pummeling is worth $5.79. So actually more than twice as much. Oh man, that's probably because of the Maridon. Does that put Andrew, oh wait, does that put Andrew P in first place for the it does. Rookie? Of, I did not think it was going to happen, but there you go. 17 points 17 for the points. Rookie of the Day wow. card. Wow, wow, very man. well played. But we have another contender right here, Ben. It's Lady Starlight. Welcome Ooh. to the game. Lady Starlight is a Slither Puff, although it says mostly Slytherin. Ooh. Let's see what you got for uh, her. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I understand that house division all too well myself. Mm hmm. Slither Puff. It's one of the rarer combinations. It is indeed. However, I've always felt like, like Slytherins and Hufflepuffs get along. Okay, so Growlithe, Shuppet, Tandemouse, Tandemouse. Smolive, Espathra. Are you allergic to a Spothra, Ben? Maybe. Uh, the Arvin, the Cacturn, the Terran... I feel like I, I'm put, trying to put too much emphasis on the pronouns. I know. Tarantula. Tarantula. Nice. The Youngster Certainly. will not score in the, the Armoru. So just a single point for our next rookie, Lady Starlight. Uh, one pack off of I the know. gold energy. Right. What is that going to be? Eight cents. Eight cents. A All right. whopping eight go. cents. Uh, but again, as ever, enjoy just saying Armouge. <laughs> Armouge. Armouge. That's what I think, at least. There is a really cool Armouge alt art, and you can get in this um, box somewhere. Maybe we'll get it at some point. Next up is Shadow Loop. Shadow, Shadow Lupe, perhaps. Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Loop. Oh no, just Shadow Loop. I was yeah. gonna say it doesn't specify, but actually it does. But but actually it does. So uh, it's just Shadow Loop. Did you know that a loop is one of those small magnifying glasses that jewelers use to like look at like gemstones and stuff? Couldn't have told you that. No. Maybe this person has something like that, but to look at shadows. Oh wow, they can look at shadows up close. Up close. That's and impressive. How exciting would that be? It'd be very exciting. All right, we got Flamigo, Crocodile, Scatterbug. Oh, oh, there we go. The full art drowsy and oh, a different Miriam. Oh Whoa. man, what an awesome. Awesome pack. I Gosh. honestly, the other one's worth more, but I like this one more. I think that one's beautiful. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, Great let's double card. check. Uh, number 238 on the set is going to be worth sleeve it up for you. 2981. Whoa, 30 point pack. 30 points on that one. And the drowsy. Plus the drowsy. I, I think is worth less, but let's double check. I'd be surprised be if that sure. was also worth $30. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, all the drowsy is still worth $4.14, so, so 35, 35 points! Whoa! And Ben, as ever, they are playing for salad. No freaking <laughs> so salad. Way. Team, team uh, Grass continues to extend their lead, I am afraid. I, I that believe wild. that will make uh, all the top five, because I think somebody from today uh, on Team Fire got <coughs> to second place overall. Yeah. But that means that in the top five, four of them are from Team or from grass. grass. That is wild. But, I mean, what can you do, man? They've got, it's, it's the Miriam pulls. They keep pulling the Miriam. I know. That's, that's what it is. Absolutely amazing. This, apparently, this, is the, this is the character to get this set if you want big points. So, there you go. Well done to Shadow Loop. All right, Pretty next amazing. up is Johnny. Johnny. Long time player in the game. Works as a casino pit boss and a game, and is a, yeah, a game dealer. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. Familiar with cards. They're familiar with cards, familiar with the gambling. Of course, this is a game of pure skill, so that is not, that is no relevance here. No relevance here, none yeah. whatsoever. You know. Uh, Dedene, Switch, Curlia, Fui Coco, Florigato, the Zangoose, the Stonejourner, the Alona Mola. Yeah. 
Did I get it right? A little Momola. I was pretty close. Yeah. It's the anemone. <laughs> uh, the Titan does not score, and the Halucha gets just, just such probably timing points. I have to imagine. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Let's Number, see what do we got? Number 118 is going to drop us at 13 cents, actually. Yeah, so there you a go. little bit better, a little bit better. A it's little not... bit better, but honestly, if you have the one point, do you want to be better? You, no, you really don't. Yeah, you, you really don't. don't. I guess it really depends but there later is the, on. There is the ability to pull three packs, so I feel like we'll really get into the dollars and cents of, of those decisions once people have pulled their first two. Yeah, for sure we will. All right, next up, I doubt that they are going to take over our Rookie of the Day spot, but you never know. It's Akron Guy, another rookie, uh, created a Pokemon fan website in... Uh, 99, which led to an interest in coding and a career in IT. That is amazing. That is amazing. Goodness Pokemon gracious. paving the way. Paving the way completely. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Can I grab the... There it is. All right, I feel like we've been going a while without the metal energy, so maybe uh, we won't get it Rock's again. Rock's pummeling. All right, the Staravia, the Ralts, the Tandemoss, the Poke Gear, the Hypno, the Beach Court, the Small Live, Sprigatito, and the Maridon, which we know is only worth about nine cents, I want to say. Yeah, I'll double check just for safety, because in some cases it can literally come down to the the individual numbers, nine cents for yes. the ride on. Hey, I remembered. Nice, Look at this, nice what a weird work. base knowledge I'm acquiring here of the uh, <laughs> yeah, like single you, cent value of I feel like you're gonna go to tournaments cards. and somebody's gonna play a card and you're like, nine cents. Nine and you're gonna be like, what? And like, that's what the card's worth. And it's yeah. like, who cares? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I care. And then you're I like, care. oust them right in that moment. Bam. Dust them. That's right. Max rarity. No. Uh, next up we play, uh, we have Gandalf, like in Lord of the Rings. Hey, okay. All right, Gandalf. See if you can work your magic on this particular pack. Oh, I see what you did there, because Gandalf is a wizard. Yeah, oh, and just that, like that. Just like that. You know it's right out of the gate. There we All go. Right, so we've got the Primeape, the Palmy, the Tarantula, the Riolu, the Mezagoza, the Drift Blim, the Defiance Band, the Kilowatra will not score, the Mousehold will not score, and the Professor's Research will, will score. Uh, we'll double check just to see what that, that one is. I think that was a 25 cent one, I want to yeah, say. Feel like that seems like it's in the right zip code. Number 189, Professor's Research, 25 cents. Bam! Of, of the two professors research, it's worth more. Yeah, people seem ones. to like this professor more than the other one. Yeah. But I guess the Scarlet and Violet games have two professors this time around. I got to really get around to beating that at some point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was going strong, and then I fell off. Anyway, next up is Jaco Worginus. Worginus. Jacob Worginus. Worginus. Yeah, we're Guinness. We're Guinness. It says like the Drake. We're Guinness. All right. Jacob, we're Guinness. We're Guinness. Well, they love stargazing. We're Guinness. We're Guinness. No, like I'm just, Guinness. I'm just, I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The uh, eyeball, eyeball energy. energy. The eye sharp. The Riolu. The Go Go. The Scatterbug. The Tatsugiri. Jack Florigato. Ooh, Skeledurge will score. The Mastiff will not, and the Dondozo will, so. Dondozo. Dondozo. So just a two-point pack, I am afraid. There you go to Jacob Wurginis. There you go. Cards are headed your way. Congratulations. Yeah. Enjoy. All right, we are down to our last couple of packs here. Three to go. Three to go. Three packs left. There you go. Look Boom. at this. Okay. Bam. Next up is Blake. Blake. All right, Blake. Uh, all three of these for Team Grass, so... There's nothing but oh, just endless opportunity for... To get even higher on the board. One, two, three. I'm looking, what do they need at this point? If they are above uh, tw 18 points. No. Boom. No. Above 14 points. Magnemite, no. not the Magneton. Ooh, yeah. almost almost gave you a point there. The Clawitzer, the Griever, the Mastiff, the Tatsugiri, the Nestball. Nestball scores, of course. Uh, Pakasuri. Pa pa Pachirisu. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, the Toxel does not score. The Go Go does not score. And the Indini does score. So it's going to be uh, a three, three point, point pack, pack overall. overall. There you go. Blake uh, uh, plays Ultimate Frisbee, so maybe you could uh, practice just like. With throwing cards some, oh right man, here, can you, know? you imagine? Can you imagine being good at throwing cards? That'd be I, great. It would be pretty cool. I've always wanted to throw one and have it stick in an apple. Yeah. Man. That seems pretty doable. You could yeah. probably accomplish that in like an afternoon. Yeah, okay. I'll I give think some so. work. I'll give it some you work. You can do it. All right, Ben, next up, uh, best known for settling Jamestown, hey. it's John Smith. Hey, John Smith. Hey, all right. Uh, top five favorite Pokemon for John Smith are Mew, Mew 2, Mew 3, Mew 4, and Mew 5. Ah, I see what you did there. Yeah, no. That was 
Do you, what do you think the odds are? Uh, because that was not the rest of them, so just Mew yeah. and Mew Two. Yeah. What do you think the odds are that Pokemon One Thousand will be Mew Three? Uh, they've already come out with Pokemon One Thousand, and it is not Mew Three. Oh, yeah. So how about that? Yeah. So it's out there. What about One Two Three Four? One. What? Pokemon 1, 2, 3, 4. Pokemon 1, 2, 3, 4. Whoa, 1,234? That's the one. That'd be amazing. Do you know what Pokemon 123 is? No, what? Scyther! No way! Okay, okay. So there okay. you go. Bam. All right, Rock is Pummeling Energy. There's Flabebe, Toxel, Ralts, Growlithe, EXP Share. Can we end the day on a big card here? The Marine on EX! Wow. So this actually isn't the end of the day, but it is a good card. There we go. Okay, let's take a let's look see here. What so, that's worth. number 81 on the set. We'll go to our score sheet. Trusty Dusty, 81. The Maridon EX is worth $10.03. Man, so that's 11 points off that one card. That's really good for uh, the end of the day here. If you want to grab a sleeve for I it. I will do. I will sleeve it right on up. Keep it nice and cozy What's as cool it ventures from my place to is yours. Is that there are four different Maridon EXs you can pull out of this particular uh, pack. And this is the least valuable one, and it's still 11 points. So that's pretty good. Normally, when there's so many versions, of a card, the lowest one is like, you know, less than a dollar. Right, 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 right. Okay. All right, Ben. Last pack of the day for Ken's. 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 And wouldn't you know, it's rookie of the day. So if you think you were just sitting there nice and comfy, the game is over, it's not. Andrew. Andrew's like, oh no. I know. What were the odds that there would be one left? Woo. Can uh, 17 points hold all the way until the finish line? We got the salad energy right off the top there, the Tropius. The Pokeball, the Rotom, the Palpad, the Penny, the Medicham, the Quaxwell, the Squove, it will not score. Oh! oh Pilar Palmont and, well, and uh, the Dondozo. Dondozo. So it is a good showing. I don't know if it's going to be enough to uh, overcome Rookie of the Day, but. Unfortunately not. Yeah, the Don the Palmont is even worth $2.37. Mm. So three plus one for the Dondozo will the be Dondozo four. The Dondozo is four, but we'll so. sleeve that up for you. Anyway, it's still a really cool card. Really cool card. Great Lovely artwork. Art. Yeah. Love any uh, love any artwork where the Pokemon is actually sleeping. The Sleeping right? T-Tar was one of my favorite chase cards for a little while. Oh, that was in my deck this past weekend. Was it? You played it. I played it. Did I played the Sleeping T-Tar. You used these. I sleeping used it. Yeah, nice. I put it in the deck. It got me some very nice. It actually was my favorite final attacker for the uh, the the win that you know the, took the, whole the attack tournament. that took the whole tournament so. amazing amazing yeah so that on was exciting whole, i actually feel like there were moments where i felt like that was like a dull box but i think on the whole it ended up being pretty interesting it was pretty good we had the gold lighting energy we had the miriam we had the uh, alt gardevoir ex in there yeah that was really like yeah, yeah, that, that was like the big one that was pretty cool pretty good um so really exciting stuff all the way around be sure to keep your eyes and uh ears on the on the leaderboard because i feel like there's there's stuff's going to be shifting like like wild yeah I mean, absolutely the, starting uh next week as well because because we'll be into round two of everything. Round two, yep, yep. absolutely. So we are now officially uh, season five, coming up on episode five. Yes. Uh, so lots, lots left to open this season. Let us know if there are any other things that you'd like to see from us. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.